I'm going to show you how to take money, uh, bitcoins, from your wallet, from your Trezor wallet, uh, transfer to to, D, to to GDAX, change it into cash, and then deposit it in your bank account. So stay tuned. <music> So you're back. So in this video, um, as you can see, I'm up here. I have my GDAX. Now the reason why I'm doing this, guys, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been trading cryptocurrency. I've been, um, you know, growing my cryptocurrency portfolio, specifically Bitcoin. I have Bitcoin. I have BitConnect coins. I have Electronium coins. Um, I will be buying some Ethereum. I don't know. Ripple is up there. I may invest in some Ripple. Um, because I see that it's like climbing the market. It, it, it literally passed Ethereum. It's, it's the number two coin. I don't know what's going on with Ripple, but at first I was against Ripple because it was part of, you know, the banking institution. And we're trying to stay away from the banks being that we want to be rebels and have our own cryptocurrency portfolio and don't let the banks get involved. But you know, what can we do? We already see that uh, the IRS is already taxing uh, cryptocurrency, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, but all right, so I don't want to get into all of that stuff. But what I want to show you here, um, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm recording this video is because, you know, I like to withdraw some of my Bitcoin. I just do. <laughs> I like to spend it. And so previously, the only way that I could spend my Bitcoin was, and, and you probably, I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash from this. So I don't spend a lot of it, but I will take out a little 500 here, thousand dollars here. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, just to, you know, just because, because I can do it. Um, you know, but for the most part, I am holding, what, hodling, hodling my Bitcoin. Um, but, um, every once in a while I do like to make some transactions just to, you know, cause people want to know, can I spend my Bitcoin? And I like to be the pioneer. I like to, uh, test things out to see how it works. So I can tell my team and I can bring it to to my community of people who follow me and who want to know this information, how you can also benefit from, uh, turning your Bitcoins into cash. So previously, I was using my BitPay debit card, right? And my BitPay debit card, it was great. Like literally, I would just put in the BitPay number, the um, and you know, just send some of my some of my Bitcoin to my card, and I could spend it. However, BitPay has changed, and I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, they are their prices, their mining fees has gone through the roof. I mean, literally, if you want to make like a $500 transfer, you're going to pay like $100. It's crazy. So, so you know, me, but my little brain, it goes like I get these little wheels turning and I'm like, okay, so what if I want to make some withdrawals? What if, I, you know, I want to spend some of my Bitcoin. I just do. I don't, I know that is wrong. You're supposed to hold on to it. But if I'm making upwards of, I'm not going to say how much money I make with Bitcoin, because uh, the IRS is watching. <laughs> but if I make some money with Bitcoin, I want to withdraw some of that and enjoy it, right? What's the use of making money if you're not going to enjoy it? I like to enjoy life. I like to enjoy my Bitcoins as well. I save about, I would say like 90% of it and I spend about 10%. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. So, but the BitPay prices were going through the roof and I said, I'm not spending all those fees. I'm, I'm just not paying those fees. So my wheels got to turning and I said, all right, how can I uh, turn this into cash. So I said, ding, my, my light bulb went off and I said, you know what? I can do a transfer to my bank account. Now, remember previously we didn't want the banks involved. We didn't want the IRS knowing what we, what we were doing. However, the IRS is taxing bit, uh, cryptocurrency anyway. What can we do? What can we do? So like I said, if you're taking out little bits and pieces, not tens of thousands of dollars, I haven't done that yet. Um, probably will do it this year. Um, but, um, right now I've just been doing like a 500, a thousand here, 500 there, little, little bits and pieces. So I'm going to show you today how I'm going to take out, I believe I'm going to take out $500 today, $500 from my Trezor wallet. I'm going to uh, do a bank wire into my bank account. It's the first time I'll be doing this. Um, and, um, and putting it in my bank account. So just a little $500, 
so that I could have some little bit of a uh, little bit of play money, right? And um, just to just to see how it works, and just just to make it happen, and to show you how to do it. All right. So here we are in GDAX, right? So before you do this, my first thing I got to tell you is that if you want to make a withdrawal, you're going to have to hook up your bank account. Okay. So now I could have did a regular bank account withdrawal, but it would have taken up to ten days. I don't want to wait ten days. <laughs> so I'm going to do a bank wire, which takes up to one business day. Okay, and you can literally take out ten thousand, up to ten thousand dollars. Um, you could also put it in your Coinbase account, but again, I want to change this to cash, which was what I was doing with my Bit BitPay card previously. So, um, so what you have to do before you do this, you know, this I, I've already set this up, but you're going to have to set up your bank account. Okay, you're going to have to set up your bank account, and it's going to take you to Coinbase. And you're going to have to do all the verification stuff. Okay, remember to pay your taxes. Look everywhere you go now. Uh, cryptocurrency is reminding you that the tax man has gotten involved with cryptocurrency. Boo. <laughs> Boo. But anyway, um, so, uh, so this is what we want to do, right? So I'm going to literally deposit. I'm going to deposit first. I have to make a deposit from my BTC address, right? From my Trezor wallet. So I'm going to send money to this address. So I'm going to send money to this address. I'm going to open up my uh, BTC wallet, which you probably cannot see, my Trezor wallet. I'm just going to do, let me see if I can show you what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah, you can't see it. Um, what I'm going to, uh, no, you can't see it. Let me, let me just show you what I'm doing here. Um, so here's my Trezor wallet, right? And I'm going to um, make a deposit of uh, 500 US dollars, right? And it's gonna take out some fees, so I'm gonna pay $9.55 for this transaction, okay? Um, and I can send $500 to this address, to this BTC address, okay? I love my Trezor wallet uh, because it's awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna send $509.55. I'm gonna send it to that address. Um, this is what I love about Trezor, it's very, very secure. Let me put in my little passcode here, right? And nobody can do anything in my wallet unless they have my super duper de duper secure password. All right, so now I just sent uh, $500 over, see it was a success, right? Uh, I just sent $500 over to, um, over to my, uh, GDAX. All right. So now let's go back to GDAX. Okay. And let's see what's going on here. Okay. So I just sent that here and it should be coming in soon. Okay. So let's see. See if I refresh, it takes, you know, got to go through the blockchain and all that stuff. So let me just pause the video and I'll come back. So as you can see over here in Coinbase, right, um, we are pending. Okay, so my $500 is pending. Alrighty. And what is it saying? We're currently experiencing delays in processing wire transfers. Outgoing wires may be delayed by several business days. We recommend withdrawing via ACH bank transfers instead of wires for the time being. Wire deposits are not being affected. So what this is saying here is that, you know, you see in GDAX, it says, now I don't know if this is for GDAX or if it's just for, um, if it's just for Coinbase, but you know, Coinbase and GDAX are sisters. They, they work, they are together. So what is it? This is saying that, I don't know, instead of it taking just one business day, it may take several <laughs> and they are, um, they are recommending that we use the ACH bank transfer, which takes like, whew, I don't even know how many days, um, like 10 days. So that's what they, that's what they are recommending. Um, but that could just be from the Coinbase, Coinbase platform. Uh, sometimes on the Coinbase platform and the um, GDAX platform, it's a little different. So I'm still going to go ahead with my bank wire from GDAX and see what happens. But meanwhile, I'm still waiting. Uh, at least they received it. Now it was 500, 498, 
70 okay 498 70 70 $498.70 so I'm waiting for it to um, enter the blockchain and get approved all right so we'll wait and when it when it goes through I'll come back with money has been deposited I got a couple of emails telling me that the money was deposited in my coinbase so let me just log into coinbase really quickly and what I need to do, I need to move that money from Coinbase into my GDAX account. Okay, so let me just do this two-step verification. And for those of you who are using Coinbase, you want to set up your two-step verification. You may even want to do the authentication. Okay, um, so what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing in my email is that my 500 bucks is now only about oh, okay well 498 okay 498 dollars and 70 cents here it is in my wallet um this is what i received so bitcoin must be going up a little bit let me make sure i move this over before it goes down <laughs> all right so let's see bitcoin prices really quickly well you actually tell us bitcoin is trading at let me sign in again GDAX is trading at $14,979. Okay, so it's going up, which is good. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to deposit this money into my, um, into my, um, you know, GDAX account. So what is this? I have this available, 03. Let me just copy that. 0339. Um, I can just send it actually. Let's see. This is what I have here. I'm going to send this here. Uh, alrighty. So this is what I have here, right? This is what I have. So now I'm just going to deposit my funds here. So I just copied it from Coinbase and I'm going to deposit my funds into GDAX. All right, so that's been successful instantaneously, instantaneous. Okay, so now it's been about, actually it's been about two hours or more. Um, so I probably won't get this, this transfer till tomorrow now because if you do it after 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is about two, I don't know if it's two hours or three hours behind me, so I may still have time to get it today. But like Coinbase says, remember, it was saying how, um, look, they're experiencing delays. So I don't know how long it's going to take. All I know is I got my zero three three nine dollars here, right? And I am going to um, I'm going to withdraw this to my bank account, okay? Um, and I'm going to do it as a bank wire, okay? So what I need to do? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I think I need to sell this. I think that's what I have to do. I have to sell this. I have to sell this Bitcoin. I think that's what I have to do. <laughs> Zero, three, three, nine, two, nine, eight, two. Okay, so zero three three nine two nine eight two. So total is five hundred and six dollars and ninety. Seven cents. Remember, guys, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm doing this live in front of you. All right, so it's going to be, I have $506.97. Now I could do limited all that stuff. I think I could sell it at a certain price. I've never done the limit buy, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place my order. I'm just gonna place my order to sell it successfully. Now I have $506.96. Now remember, I gained a couple dollars, which is great. I did a $500 um transfer and now it's five hundred six thousand ninety seven cents so now i'm going to withdraw it i'm going to withdraw it to my bank account i'm going to do a bank wire now previously right i would have i probably would have put this in my i wouldn't have come to gdax i would have taken it straight from my trezor wallet put it over to my bitpay debit card and you know have a little fun with it spend it however i want but since bitpay Debit card prices are through the roof. Their mining fees are through the roof. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to withdraw it. I'm going to do a bank wire. I'm going to do the entire thing. $506. I don't know. Is there a fee? I don't even know. Let me see. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see. It's $506.96. So let's see if I could do $506. 
$6.96. Let's just see. Uh, my destination will be a bank wire. So don't forget to do that the right way. I find six dollars and ninety-six cents. Okay, which are the funds are gonna give me a oh I gotta get my code. Right? They're gonna give me a code. Let me see what my code is. Six two eight six one seven three uh my code i believe that's right and it's going to go into my bank account and i'm going to withdraw my funds through a bank uh oh santa's oh wrong code oops i get so many codes six zero zero three eight four zero all right i think that's the right code all right so now i'm going to withdraw this five hundred six dollars and ninety six cents uh, uh oh, the funds were transferred to your Coinbase account, but withdrawn to your bank failed. Please manually withdraw from Coinbase. Okay, so I went to my Coinbase account. That's what it's saying. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Let me try that again. Um, okay, so it's still here. So let me withdraw again. All right, it seemed like it did it. Hmm. All right, so now, let's see. It's saying it was withdrawn to my Coinbase account. So let's see. Let's see if I got an email or something. Okay, sent it to GDAX. I don't see it here. Alrighty, well, it says it was made. Let me just refresh my screen and see what happens here. Alright, so it went to Coinbase apparently. So I will wait, let me see. I don't see anything here just yet. I'll keep you all posted out. Um, when it comes here, oh, here it is, my USD wallet. Okay. Alrighty, so it came here now. Interesting. <laughs> So, still $506.96. Lisa didn't lose any money. All right, so let's see what I want to do here. So, I want to, uh, let's do a, oh, withdraw. Okay, so let's see if I withdraw. All right, so withdraw to my bank account, but I don't, okay, bank wire. All right, withdraw all of it and continue. All right, so I'm going to do it that way. Please link a bank account for withdrawals less than $10,000. Please link a bank account and withdraw via ACH. Okay, so I'm going to have to do the ACH thing as opposed to a bank wire. Let me see. So withdraw. Um, I think I do have. So I'll just withdraw it to my. This is going to take 10 days, guys. Um, all right, so you're about to withdraw. Oh, your phones will arrive by Friday. That's not so bad. $506.96, $506.96 will be in my bank account by Friday. Okay, that's not so bad. Today is Wednesday, right? Today's Tuesday, Tuesday the 2nd. It'll be there by Friday the 5th. All righty, so a little trial and error. My first time um, actually doing a GDAX, but as you can see, I lost no money. Like I literally transferred over $500, right? $500 worth of Bitcoin. I, you know, tried it. I hope you guys saw all of that stuff. I know my screen was a little off to the side, um, but I lost no money. So hopefully if you are looking to withdraw some Bitcoin from your wallet and turn it into cash, that's the way you can do it. As you can see, I actually gained $6.96 and that's because of the price of Bitcoin. And what's so great about Bitcoin 
is that you know you change you can change it to fiat currency and as the price increases so does your uh, money increase so um hopefully this this video was helpful i kept the bloopers in here for you i could have edited it out <laughs> but i didn't because i want you to see that you know what what you can do when it comes to when you have like little twists and turns okay so to me this is a better way right you may have to wait a couple days but it's better than paying outrageous bit pay card fees and you know whenever i find something that's going to be helpful uh to you i'm going to share it with you because i believe in transparency so i've been using my bit pay card the fees went through the roof so i don't know what they're going to do with that um, but I don't like to pay a whole lot of fees just to transfer money over, whether it's Bitcoin or otherwise. So this is an alternative to paying, paying high bit pay uh, debit card fees. OK, so how to withdraw your Bitcoin from your wallet uh, and putting it into a bank account that you can use. We're going to have to pay taxes on it anyway. So um, I wouldn't recommend, you know, transferring a whole lot of money, you know, $500 kind of be under the radar, even a thousand dollars under the radar, but anything over that, you know, ten thousands of dollars and things like that. Hopefully they'll come out with a better alternative as we become crypto millionaires. We're going to be moving lots and lots of big money around. So we're going to have to see how we can move it around without getting penalties from the IRS. All right. I hope this video was helpful. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please, you know, uh, share this video. I'll, out like it subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up comment below um if i left anything out if you found this was informative um just let, give me some feedback that really helps me to um see if i'm providing valuable content um if you're watching this in my private group i hopefully you guys were informed and you are ready to turn your bitcoins don't do too much of it now remember do not spend your bitcoin hodl 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 hold on for dear life hodl and don't spend them you know but you can play with some money here and there because i you know i have um i have money sitting over here bitcoin sitting over here bitcoin sitting over there and every once in a while i like to take some out so hopefully this was informative and i'll see you guys in the next video